Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Acer Chromebook R13. Uh, this is the AC adapter that comes with it, and uh, this is using a USB-C connector on it. And charging takes a couple hours, but this thing has phenomenal battery life. Um, I can get 9 to 10 hours, and it's phenomenal. This is the very plain and simple setup guide that they include. Uh, just some very marginal information in here, enough to get you to basically turn the thing on and get going. But um, if you're familiar at all with the Chrome browser, you're already familiar with the Chrome OS. You just didn't realize it. This is the case. It's this beautiful aluminum clad case. Feels much more valuable than what you pay for this. Uh, it really does have a very, very nice quality case on it. Now I've got this sitting on top of my 15-inch MacBook Pro just to sort of give you a little bit of a size comparison. My MacBook Pro is much heavier than this, but this isn't as light as you might think. Um, check the specs on it. Uh, it's not super heavy, but it has got a pretty good heft to it. Again, not as much as my uh, MacBook Pro, however. This has a 1620 by 1050 HD widescreen display on it compared to my MacBook Pro, which is a 15 inch screen but has a 1920 by 1080 default resolution. Now, what I love about this Chromebook is that it turns on almost instantly. As soon as I lift the lid, it is pretty much ready to go, and that is one of the advantages of the Chromebook. Uh, one of the disadvantages of this particular model is it does not have a glare-free screen. And uh, you can see here, glare is definitely going to be an issue depending on your lighting situation and where you are. So that's a real disadvantage. I do wish it had an anti-glare screen on it. But the screen itself, uh, I find the brightness to be very satisfactory. Uh, I've never had an issue of saying, geez, I wish I could make it a little brighter. It always seems very bright to me. One of the issues that I do have, though, is uh, on this model that I have, and I may have to return it uh, and get an exchange because of that fact, is that the left speaker plays louder than the right speaker. And I've done extensive tests, and I can conclude that it is actually a, a definitely an issue not related to the source of the sound. Now this has uh, two speaker ports on the bottom, and then each side also has a small port here for the speaker. So even if this is sitting on your lap, you're still getting uh, a decent amount of si uh, sound out of the small speaker slot. As far as the ports, here's your USB-C port, HDMI output, USB 3 port, and a micro SD card slot. And then you've got a volume on the other side here. This is the on-off button and this is a lock port and your headphone out. Um, so it's really the instant on when you open the screen, uh, which I really love. The keyboard is really excellent. One of the better keyboards I've actually used, and believe it or not, I prefer this keyboard to the MacBook Pro keyboard. The touchpad works flawlessly. It's a good size, very responsive. I really like how the touchpad works. And, of course, another big advantage is this has a touch screen. And that's one of the reasons I bought the R13 over some of the other uh, Chromebooks that are out there. Love the touch screen. Uh, if you get to a page where the font's uh, type size is just a little bit too small, well, you can just instantly make it larger like this. And, of course, one of the other big advantages of this particular model is the screen can fold back on itself, and then you have suddenly a really nice-sized tablet. And you can see that the screen orientation is snappy. It uh, just gets to where it needs to get really quickly. Uh, I don't have any problem watching YouTube videos or Netflix with this. And as far as all the daily functions that I like to do, checking email, surfing the web, um, this thing just performs flawlessly for me. I love it. So this is really going to be my carry around notebook now. I'll leave my uh, Battleship uh, MacBook Pro at home most of the time. This is going to be my more lightweight, longer battery life, day-to-day uh, -day computer for doing all the mundane tasks that I usually end up doing while I'm sitting in coffee shops, airport terminals, or on long flights. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.